Hi, this is Gautam. For today's episode, we are going to look at the Ganga drainage basin. Now, I'd like to make this uh, a statement right at the start. Ganga is a very large drainage basin, so it won't be possible to finish uh, all the major rivers uh, right within one video. So what we're going to do is, in today's video, we look at the major river systems and then the tributaries of the other ones, uh, we'll try to finish them in a second video. So first thing before we start with the main river is understanding how India's geomorphology in the northern, northern part of the country varies as you move from the Himalayas to the south. Now, if you take the geomorphology, the Himalayas are the tallest mountain system in the world, which is present in the north. And south of the Himalayas, we have a large synclinal trough, which was filled with fluvial deposits over a long period of time, which was brought out by the Himalayan weirs. So, thus the Himalayan rivers created one of the world's flattest plains. And after the northern plains, we have the slightly uh, elevated uh, peninsula plateau. There you go. So you, you know that this structure was formed when the Indian plate collided with the Eurasian plate. So that is your orientation from north to south. Now, why is this important? Well, if one considers the tributaries which flows uh, into Ganga River, the Himalayan rivers, of course, they start from uh, the mountains of Himalayas, obviously. They are supported by several rivers which flow from the peninsula plateau. So this orientation is required to understand the tributaries right now. Let's start with the Himalayan mountains itself. Now, if you take the Himalayas, you have the Himalayas extending from the western uh, part of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, Ladakh to the eastern part of Arunachal Pradesh. For Ganga, what we are going to do is we are going to consider uh, Uttarakhand. So, after Uttarakhand, we have the country of Nepal, and you know that the Himalayas move across the country of Nepal too. Then again, of course, we have the state of Sikkim, right? And south of or the or south of the northern plains, we have the central highlands. So if you come here in the state of Madhya Pradesh, you'll have uh, several plateau regions. You'll have the plateau of uh, uh, Malwa, you'll have the plateau of Bundelkhand, and then you'll also have uh, the Bahilkhand. You know that Bahilkand is an extension of the Maikala Hills, which you find uh, in uh, parts of Madhya Pradesh, uh, Chhattisgarh border. And after Chhattisgarh, of course, we have the Chotanagpur Plateau, which is present in uh, the state of Zarkand. So the reason why we have to mention this is that there are many rivers which start from uh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Zarkand. Sorry, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Zarkand and flow north towards the northern plains. And uh, from Zarkand also, we have some rivers moving towards West Bengal. So if you take the western side, of course, the water divide which separates your Indus and Ganga River basins is Aravallis. So Aravalli is roughly ends around Delhi. So this kind of creates the place where your Ganga River flows. And the major river starts in the state of Uttarakhand then enters into Uttar Pradesh, flows to the state of Bihar, and then it has its very large delta in the states of West Bengal and uh, the country of Bangladesh, right? So now, as I reminded you at the start of the video, we look at the major tributaries alone. The first tributary, of course, is Yamuna. Yamuna starts near the Bandarpunj Glacier in the state of Uttarakhand, very close to Ganga. And then it flows through a long distance before meeting Ganga in Prayagraj. So that is Yamuna River. And Yamuna itself has many tributaries uh, flowing from uh, a parts of Madhya Pradesh, right? And the second important uh, right bank tributary of River Ganga is uh, River Son. So we have a River Son uh, starting from Amar Kantak, uh, which is also. Uh, very close to the source of uh, Narmada and then flows in the direction which is opposite uh, to Narmada. Narmada is here. So when you prepare uh, for Son River, always look at the orientation of Narmada. So that Narmada are roughly flows in the same fault. So we have River Son uh, meeting Ganga from the right bank. So, if you take the two major right-hand tributaries, it is Yamuna and Son, who are directly meeting the river Ganga. So, now let's have a simple mnemonic here, okay, before we go to the left-bank tributaries. You know, as I told you, uh, 
we still haven't spoken about the two starting points that is river bagirathi in uttarakhand and river alagananda so both rivers bagirathi and uh, alagananda join together at devaprayag and from devaprayag i think you know that it is called as ganga so think about a bag okay so a bag is here here we go roughly yeah that is your bag right so we are going to talk to the bag so we say hi bag how are you and bag says yes right remember something i have told you before in uh, the previous videos so if you're new to the channel by any chance uh, the vowels are used as fillers vowels really do not carry a lot of meaning several times so it helps us to uh, you know uh, create finesse and create words so bag says yes okay so you can think about the uh, alphabets y and s here so y stands for yamuna and s stands for soul so we want the first uh, five rivers here we go we have the bag bagirathi alakananda joining together to form ganga and we go and talk to the bag and the bag says yes so y stands for yamuna and then s stands for soul right so that's a rough idea now let me go back to your left bank tributaries and ganga of course has many major left bank tributaries which directly join the river we'll start one by one first is uh, ram ganga which starts again on uttarakhand and then joins ganga river so that's number 1 we have ram ganga and uh, after ram ganga we have river gomti which uh, starts in uh, uttar pradesh itself and after gomti we have the rivers gagra gandak and kosi uh, one important thing to remember all these rivers do not originate within india they originate in parts of either nepal or they originate in parts of tibet uh, because you know that uttar pradesh is uh, uh, uttar pradesh and bihar they are they are plains so the rivers start in the mountains of himalayas they cross over and then flow into after cutting their valleys and gorges then they flow into the river ganga so we have first river gagra which starts south of uh, lake uh, manasarovar in tibet and then enters into nepal and after gagra we have gandak and then of course we have kosi so the point we are trying to remind again uh, is a simple idea that uh, all the three rivers uh, are starting outside india and that is north of uttar pradesh so gagra gandak and kosi so if you take the rivers right now they roughly form this kind of an idea so we have r g g g k ram ganga gomti gagra gandak and kosi now how do we remember this right all these five rivers well as i told you we go for a simple story because we are talking to the bag so you know we ask the bag ram uh, do bag do you know ram okay yes i know ram of course ram goes to ghat for gk quiz that's one way to remember we are talking about river so it is much easier for us to visualize a ghat and ram also so or you can say ram wins gold ram wins gold in the ghat gk quiz anyway the point is we have to stress on these words g o and then the word g h here so you don't forget that g o stands for gomti and then gh stands for gagra so if you can crack these two then naturally you will remember gandak and then we have k for kosi that's all and of course ram oh, it's pretty obvious ram stands for ram ganga so now let's do it one more time with the story there is a bag b stands for bagirathi a stands for alagananda both bagirathi and alakananda at devaprayag merge to form river ganga so there is a bag here we go and talk to the bag bag simply says yes why for yamuna yes for soon and we ask the bag do you know ram he say yes i do know ram 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 ganga ram ganga goes gomti 
which is originating from uh, Uttar Pradesh itself, goes to Ghat, GH, Ghat for Gagra, which is starting near the, uh, you know, south of Lake Manas Rover in the Nepal Tibetan border. Then, of course, we have uh, Gandak. And then we have Kosi again, uh, starting north of Uttar Pradesh in the Himalayan region. So, Ram goes to Ghat for GK. So that's all. That's a simple way to remember the major tributaries of Ganga. So uh, in the second video, which is also for Ganga River Basin, we will look at some of the tributaries of Yamuna itself and some of the tributaries of, sorry, uh, some of the tributaries of Gagra River. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Uh, hope you find it useful for uh, remembering simple keywords for your prelims examination. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, this is Gautam signing off. Uh, happy morning. Happy learning. Bye-bye.